Welcome back to the garage. Today we're going to harvest some worm castings. And what I have here is the tub that I'm going to harvest. Oh, lots of worms in there. And a tub where the worm castings will go. And a tub that will receive the part of the contents that don't move through the screen. So here's my sifter. This is just a little rectangle that the sifter slides on. And here's the sifter. It's just a rectangle of one by twos with a screen attached with some staples and four little wheels. And that rolls back and forth like that. So let's get my little shovel and we'll start putting some in there. And this is how it goes. We'll put some in there. And then put this back and forth. This, the castings fall through. And what's left over, I dump into that third tub. This isn't a little shovel, actually. It's a little dustpan from the Roman dustpan that was made for, the, for an RV. So it's little, but I confiscated it. As you can see, some of the stuff, this obviously isn't eaten. Some of it is wet. Well, that happens to be a rock. And it breaks up, but I'm not really worried about that because most of the stuff that isn't broke, that isn't turned into castings, is just little small chunks of horse manure. And that's going to go to start the next bin. And you can see the castings. There's a there's a fair amount of organic stuff left in it. But that's okay. Because what I want it for is to put in my garden. And if there's a little bit of horse manure left, then that will support some worms in my garden. And that's just fine with me. Obviously, there will be cocoons in this when I put it in the garden. If all goes well, they will hatch and I will have worms in the garden too. Now, I haven't gotten down to any worms yet, so I'm not, not getting any worms in here. Sometimes the little ones fall through. And I just go through it a little bit. <clears throat> and I'll go through this tomorrow. When any worms that escape through the screen will be down at the bottom of the castings. And I'll just pick them out. I don't harvest the cocoons. I could. One of the things I want to do is established procedures that don't involve a lot of time or labor. The idea is to get the most with the least amount of work. I'm not going to bore you with the doing this all on camera. You get the idea, I hope. Okay, there you have it. 
Uh, got about uh, yeah, a little less than half is uh, castings that would go through the screen. The screen, incidentally, is a quarter inch hardware cloth. Um, so it's not finely sifted. But uh, this stuff here uh, contains quite a few worms. You can see some in there. <clears throat> and I'll wet this down because I let it get kind of dry. It's easier to sift when it's drier. If it's too wet, it doesn't go through the screen very well. It kind of balls up. Um, so I let it get kind of dry, and now the worms probably could use some extra water. And tomorrow or the next day, I'll get some new horse manure and wet it down and let it sit for a day. And uh, then we'll add some to this, and we'll start it all over again. Oh, by the way, the jalapeno peppers experiment, I, uh, I looked, checked on them yesterday and did a video on it and somehow pushed a wrong button and it disappeared. But I can tell you that the results for my jalapeno were just the same as for Emily, the crazy worm lady. Uh, the worms ate them all except the skin and uh, a couple of seeds. So we now know that worms will tolerate jalapeno peppers. I, I don't think I'm going to go the same direction that Emily's going anymore. I'm going to try to find out what they will eat most what they like best, as opposed to what they will tolerate. But um, more on that, uh, and I'll, I'll uh, update you on, on this one when I uh, put some new horse manure and start it all over again. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.